you might want to try. Good morning, Ken. Hey, good morning to all of you hanging out with Dr. Ivan. Good morning. Good right. morning. Good morning. Thanks uh, for having me. from the East Coast, right? That's right. New okay. York. Now, we're talking about this. What is this today? Is January the 15th, so at least 75% of the people have already just completely forgotten their New uh, Year's resolution of getting back into shape. But you think you have, not think, you know you have four ways to kind of help people jumpstart and get back into it, right? You know, there's no denying that you got to stick with the staples. Yeah. Exercise and diet are important, but these are hacks to facilitate those mainstays. Okay. Uh, the first one is taking cold showers. Really? Yeah. Research has shown that it's a nice, easy way to boost your metabolism oh. and lose fat. So that's one thing you could do. And you could slowly, gradually move into that to yeah. the last 30 seconds of your shower. You could just put <laughs> it on a little cold. cold get yeah. that blast of cold and slowly increase the time. Okay. Uh, the other one is intermittent fasting. Now there are uh, several different variations. Yeah. Uh, one that I do is called intermittent daily uh, fasting. Okay. So I'm fasting for an eight hour feeding window followed by 16 hours of fasting. So what it looks like is my first meal is at 12, last meal is at eight. Great for weight loss, insulin sensitivity, a number of uh, uh, benefits. And all the details of this are documented in your book. That's right. That's available at barnesandnoble.com and other outlets as well. That's okay. right. And, you know, sleep. Uh, that's something. So you come to the wrong place to talk about sleep. <laughs> I know. We do not get sleep here, Dr. Ivan. So how is this hurting well, us? Well, this is the thing. Sleep is uh, the new pillar of health. Okay. You know, you can't deny that sleep is important for recovery. Um, it, it's what fosters adaptation when you go to the gym. So if you're not getting adequate recovery, you're not going to recover. You're not going to build. You're not going to glow the way Man. you should. So, and the average American, we're getting 6.8 hours of sleep. And we need eight. That's, really? Because I, I get well 6.5 and I'm like, I'm good. No, it's well established ah, okay. that if you want to have optimal, be at your optimal level uh, cognitively, physically, you need eight hours of sleep. All right. And then the last thing you were and talking about. And then the last thing. Look, as long as you're moving, look, the more we move, the longer we live. Okay. So just move, whether it's yoga, Pilates, it doesn't matter. But if I had to arbitrarily choose one or two exercises that yeah. everyone should do, yeah. I got to go with squats and deadlifts. You know, I was thinking about that. Um, I was, I've been at the gym last three days, so my legs are super tight. But when I'm playing video games with my son, I'm not kidding, we're playing video games, and I'm standing there with the controller, and I'm doing squats. Yeah. While we're playing video games. That's good. Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Like, you're supposed to take breaks maybe during your time at work and just do some squats? Well, or the, this... the, what, what you want to do is you want to get up periodically throughout the day if your job entails sitting. You know, there, there's a big thing now. It's called sitting disease. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's the equivalent of smoking. In fact, five hours of sitting is the equivalent of a pack and a quarter what? cigarettes. Yeah, that's right, in terms of how it affects our metabolism. So we want to get up as much as we can. We want to try to aim for about 7,500 steps per day. Yeah. So if you have a sedentary job, get up more. Move. But when you do exercise, squat and deadlift. Is there a particular form that we should so be utilizing there, there, for your squats? So, there's so many variations of a squat, but okay. the fundamentals are this. When you're squatting, it's a knee dominant exercise. Yeah. So your torso is upright, and you know, you can hold your hands here. Well, I'm, here, I'm holding a here, video game controller. Here, so that's, that's, and you're just going to bend your knees, keeping your head upright. So my torso. Oh, I got, <laughs> I got all this now, lactic acid in my, exactly. legs, my legs. And then you can day. hold weight here, here. There's a number of different ways. Oh, a deadlift, it's a hip dominant exercise. So in starter, instead of initiating the movement with your knees, you initiate the movement with your hips. Okay. So the very first thing you're doing is your butt is going back and then some slight knee bending. Mm -hmm. And these are great ways to stimulate healthy hormones, testosterone, growth hormone. It, uh, it builds your bones. Yeah. So many benefits. And it, it really is great in terms of how it stimulates maximal muscle fiber recruitment. Now, I don't want to get people hurt at work, but I feel like you could do squats at work. Absolutely. I feel like when you're at your desk, Absolutely. maybe the point is that your butt hits the seat yep. and you're back up Absolutely. again. That's a good way to... Okay. Absolutely. So you can incorporate that in your day. Absolutely. Every 20, 30 minutes, try to probably do that. Probably can't deadlift just a few your desk, times. though. No. The boss probably don't want that. <laughs> no. Not so much. That, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but just getting up, going for yeah. a walk, taking the stairs, parking far away, these are all great ways to be active. Uh, aim for 7,500 steps per day. Most people, they have a pedometer on their yeah, phone with these true. smartphones. So just uh, get equipped with how to use your phone and aim, calculate your steps or compute your steps. There you go. That's a hack to get you off to the good start. It's 15 days into the new year. You're not done just yet. You're not completely hopeless. You can find the book as well from Dr. Ivan. It's at barnesandnoble.com. We have it linked to our site here at Good Day Sacramento. Lisa, back to you. All right, Ken, thanks so much. Call it the king.